Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Medea J and today's video is going to be an unboxing and testing out this whole rechargeable makeup brush cleaner. Um, I've heard a lot of reviews about a brush cleaner like this. Um, I'm not a brush washer fan, so anything to make my life easier, I will try. So I will send this product by Bonnie Talox. And I'm very, very happy that they sent me this product to test out for you guys. So this is what it looks like. And I got a little, nice little thank you card in there as well. I did a whole unboxing on my Instagram. So I'm really, really appreciative um, for this package. It was a really, really nice gesture. Nice little handwritten note cards and everything plus they sent a little guide as to how to use this product and um, what it what it values at so this retails for $39.95 and it's only sold on either amazon.com or on their official Facebook page both of which I'll leave in the description box below just in case if you want to have a look now this product is marketed as an item that will help save time easy to use it's a nice gift idea like literally receiving this over christmas has just made me really really excited because i hate washing brushes so yeah and i love how compact it came um it is rechargeable apparently and uses no battery so the spinner itself will fully charge in two hours and it lasts for one week. There's a USB cable provided. I will show you guys everything that is in there. But yeah, so I absolutely love it. So in the box you get one spinner, one neck, a ring, one ball, a spindle, eight brush colors, one brush color base, one cleaning mat, one USB charging cable and one lithium polymer battery so let's go so I've gone ahead and taken everything out of the box and done some assembly so you get eight colors that come with the box I've taken four out and I've put my brushes in them ready but basically you're supposed to find the color that fits the base of your brush and you fit it in and you fit in obviously the bigger hole for the brush and then the smaller hole at the bottom is for your spinner. Now the spinner is supposed to be charged for at least two hours before each use. Or uh, depending on how much charge, it should go off after it's fully charged. All the instructions and everything are in the little booklet that comes with the box. So I've gone ahead and I've done four brushes ready for testing. So I just basically took the color that fits the brush the most and I stuck my brush in like so and that bit goes right into the spindle and just basically clicks itself in like so. So that's ready to go, ready to rock and roll ready to rock and roll and then with the bowl there are measurements for uh, the different types of dirty brushes that you might have so I've gone ahead and I've done it for foundation brushes because I'm testing out mostly foundation and powder brushes and I've added my antibacterial soap to wash the brushes the ring as well as a vacuum ring so it should avoid any splashing or any water going anywhere so we're just gonna test it so, I'm just going to do that. So you can see. And you can see so far, it's taking out a lot of dirt from my brush. And as you turn it on, you're supposed to dip in and out, in and out, in and out, and then you turn it off. Um, you can repeat this step a few times depending on how dirty your brush is. My antibacterial soap might, might have been a little bit much because I can see all the foam. So I'm going to go ahead and change the water. 
So I've only added a little bit of antibacterial soap this time, but you guys can already see how clean my brush is getting. To be fair, I took some of my dirtiest brushes to do this demo, so we're going to try it again. I'm going to dip it in, get the soap right in the brush, and then go for it. In and out, in and out. So this is what it's looking like. I'm going to go ahead and change the water to plain water so as to rinse it just to see how much of my brush is, it's washed because so far the water isn't looking as dirty as it was the last time so I'm going to change the water and rinse it so I've changed it to plain water now I'm going to rinse it and it's basically same as the wash I'm going to dip my brush in there and then I'm going to turn on the spinner So I'm just going to go ahead and rinse it one more time. Just to get everything out. So far, this is what my brush is looking like. Okay, bear in mind it was way filthier than this. So this is, I'll take it off the thing. This is what she looks like. I would have to do a few more washes. But compared to what it was before, I'm just going to go ahead and dry it. Just basically lift the brush out of the water and just spin for 10 to 15 seconds. And you don't want to dip it in the water while it's doing this. Now this is what she looks like dry. Look at that. I see the difference, massive difference. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing for this white brush, speed through, just to show you guys the end result. But so far, this was a really, really dirty liquid foundation brush, and look at how it looks. Now I'm gonna use this, this is a powder brush, so we're gonna speed through it. And then I'll come to you guys with my final thoughts, so let's go. I think I should have just done the first demo with white brushes because the difference is clear. This brush is actually dry. Um, if you just air dry it for like an hour max, it's good to go. So best thing is once it's finished spinning, better to reshape your brush because then it's just gone back to my nice foundation style brush, powder brush that you guys know. Do you see how white the bristles are? So my final thoughts, as I said, this retails for $39.95. You can either get it on Amazon.com or on uh, Bonita Luxe 
Facebook, official Facebook page, which I will link below. Um, I'm so happy they sent this to me. I think it's a fantastic product. I see myself using it for my foundation brushes, my contour brushes, you know, the brushes that take a little bit more um, enthusiasm <laughs> to wash. Those are the brushes that I see myself using this process for. I mean, I've got loads of face brushes that are filthy. Um, I'll definitely be using the system for it. I mean, you guys, the proof is in the pudding. You can see, you can definitely see how beautiful my brush looks. And it's still super soft, no shedding, no bristle fallout, no none of that. Absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, I definitely do recommend this product hands down. I really love the fact that it put a brush mat in there. So if your brush doesn't fit in any of these holes, you can always use a brush mat. But yeah, there's nothing else to say guys. I absolutely love this. I think it's a really, really good product. If you're not into washing brushes like me, you're absolutely going to love it. If you know someone that doesn't like washing brushes, definitely buy it for them. They're going to love you forever. Um, you guys have seen the process of washing it. Literally, depending on how dirty your brush is, you might only need one um, liquid. If not, you just have to repeat the steps as many times as you like just to make sure that your brush is nice and clean. But yeah, that's all from me, guys. There's one more thing, though. You do get a one-year warranty when you buy this product. All you have to do is to email them if there's anything wrong with the product or anything like that. Um, they are always there to help. They're a really, really good service. As I said, I got this whole direction booklet thing. And the actual product itself came with a hand how-to booklet already. So I think that's really, really good service. So definitely check it out. I think it is value for money um, if you're looking for something to use to wash your brushes. But yeah, I can't rave about this product any, any further than I have already. Do leave me a comment below if you've got any questions. Um, let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you've come across this particular one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe and make sure you thumbs up this video. Leave me a comment below. Remember, God doesn't like ugly, so be nice to someone today. And I'll catch you guys in a future video. Bye-bye.